Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Callie and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is her ability to understand and respond to her formal obedience commands. The correction and a lot of motivation that we give the girls when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that we need to give. And the only correction that we give is a little tug and let go on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You'll be introduced to that training collar and taught how to use it properly during your follow-up training session. Now Callie is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Callie heal. Callie heal. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> at this point Callie has a job to do. And that is to stay even with Rich's left leg, not dragging him, not pulling not forging ahead and each time that he stops his feet she's been taught to sit automatically without being told and wait for her next command. So this makes walking the girls a pleasure. They're not dragging you, they're not getting tangled up with each other. Each of you can take a dog and go for a walk and not look like wind socks. And you see her looking up at Rich and she's focused and paying attention. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate is the stay. Stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. Your long sit stay when you're practicing at home, and you can practice indoors as well as outdoors, is one minute working up to three minutes. When Rich returns back to his dog, he will walk all the way around her as an additional distraction ending up back at heel position. So everything starts and stops at heel position. That's a very hard exercise. Believe it or not, it looks easy, but to get a dog to trust us enough to allow us to get behind them. So that is a serious additional distraction for her to hold that stay while we walk behind her. But she heals with pizzazz. She has a lot of pep in her step, which is going to leave her in another sit-stay. And you practice these stationary exercises, like I said, indoors as well as outdoors. And we're going to be showing you and teaching you how to incorporate all these commands into your everyday living situations. This time, instead of returning back to her, Rich will use her name and call her. And that's a happy command and she's been taught to come and sit right in front of you facing your knees and then return all the way back around to heel position where you started and they take off healing again and they're going to demonstrate that recall exercise for us again. I mean they both have done a great job. Stay. Rich leaves her in a sit stay, walks out to the end of his training leash I don't know what she's focused on, but he called her and she came right in and sits. And then back to heels, probably squirrels or leaves or whatever. Now, you just saw a correction and that was a no with a little tug on that training collar because she didn't sit right away. Now, the next exercises that we're going to demonstrate for you are your down commands and there are two of them. The first one is with your dog seated at a heel position, you take your left open palm, down. push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command stay. to down and then stay. This is your down from heel position and the long down stay is for three minutes working up to five minutes. Again when Rich returns back to her he will walk all the way around her and she should remain lying down until he gets back to her so he makes her repeat it so that she does it correctly. And these are all exercises that help to develop trust and self-control. And Rich will demonstrate that down from a heel one more time. So always have your dog seated before you attempt to put her into a down. He leaves her in a stay. We tried to give her a blanket because it's kind of damp out here, but she didn't like it. And Rich calls her in out of that and she comes right in front and sits like a lady and then she goes back to heel back sitting very nicely done. Now the last exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is your down from a distance. This is a harder exercise. It was especially hard for Callie. 
Um, so we're going to give it a go on video. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Rich leaves her in a sit stay and walks out in front of her. Down. Perfect. Now you're going to lengthen out your distance with that exercise, but that's your down from a distance. Now we have demonstrated for you your heel, your automatic sit, your stay, your down, your down from a distance, and your calm. These are formal obedience commands that we're going to be teaching you how to use in your everyday living situations. We've enjoyed having the girls, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.